First premise, winning in the mind before entering in the arena is the principle that we're talking about here. What does that mean? Right? How, do we, how do we do this? How do we win in the mind? And this idea comes from Sun Tzu's quote, right? You win victorious warriors, win first in their minds, and then they enter the battle. Well, the losers, essentially, or all others enter the battle and then seek to win. And so you could say, well, that means maybe they do better planning. Sure, that's true. It's important to plan. It's important to have a good strategy. It's important to um, make sure everyone understands the vision, right? All that kind of stuff. But at an individual level, it's important to see, feel, hear, live the win, whatever that win is for you, right? And I'm talking about, when we're talking about the battle, you know, it could be Steel Fit Academy, it could be Kokoro Academy, it could be something major, like earning the trident, or it could be, you know, surviving something significant like cancer, okay? But warriors who are victorious all the time have what we call an unfettered mind. Right? They're able to clear all that crap out. A metaphor, you know, I'll use is like a garden. The garden has been overrun. The part, you know, the overrunness, the weeds, are all these useless thoughts. Now, I'm not saying that every thought is useless. I mean, when you sit down and you have to solve a problem, you have to balance your checkbook, or, you know, you guys have to huddle up and figure out how to do something, I mean, that's a very good use of your critical thinking mind, right? When you're done with it, let it go. See what comes up. Allow the rest of yourself to have a say. And we want to access the fuller capacity of our mind. The whole 100%. whole 100%. To be fully functioning human beings. The only way we can do that is to start to harness or to lasso that mind or weed the garden. You know, I love, I mean, metaphors draw pictures for us, so... You know, if your mind is like a raging wild horse, then we need to, we need to lasso him, haul him into the corral, tame the horse. Well, your mind is that horse. It's being tamed. Or in the metaphor of the garden, we need to weed the garden, get all the crap weeds out of it, and only allow that which belongs there to stay there. Also, you've cleared up all that space that now that you, you go and tend to it with your daily practice, which might be box breathing, warrior yoga, breath control, meditation, whatever. It's daily mental practice keeps the weeds out. And then we can plant really powerful, you know, really powerful trees in the form of thoughts, ideas, visual imagery, stuff that is going to take root and bear fruit for us.